Thanks, Emily. We now know the names of the five officers killed in the ambush Thursday night. They are Officer Brent Thompson, Officer Michael Kroll, Officer Michael Smith, Officer Lorne Ahrens, and Officer Patrick Zemaripa, who was familiar with the Gulf Coast. Zemaripa was a U.S. Navy veteran. He served three tours of duty in Iraq and at one point was stationed at NAS Pensacola. And according to the Navy, he was currently a part of the Navy Cargo Handling Battalion, which is based out of Gulfport, Mississippi. Our thoughts and prayers are with all the families. We're just days removed from the tragedy in Dallas. Sometimes the best answers and the only answers are found in prayer. As News 5's Chad Petrie reports, it's one way of coping for lawmen. But Lord, we pray, Father God, that you bless the city of Dallas. A common prayer throughout Baldwin County and elsewhere in the wake of violence in Dallas as people bowed their heads and looked to the good book for some good ideas. When the natural response should be fear for anger or discouragement, Lord, in a tough situation, Lord, you're able to speak peace. Whether in prayer or protest, peace has been the theme for the last couple of days. Friday, three prayers were held in Robertsdale at the Fallen Officer Memorial. A prayer for Dallas, a prayer for peace, and a prayer of protection for law enforcement. I pray, God, that you would put a shield of protection around them. And that's what our law enforcement does uh, with the resources, the training, um, and the best that they can do. And they're human beings. And the police officer deaths in Dallas are stunning to anyone who's ever worn a badge, like retired MPD Lieutenant John Graham. We are cannibalizing our first line of defense. In America, we need to stop and look and see what's happening to ourselves. Some, like Alberta's police chief, pray they can handle a world where some may be automatically hostile to police. You never know when you're going to confront somebody that it's not necessarily that they hate the individual, they hate what you represent. Black bands around badges are common for a while longer, and so is a little more prayer. Lord, I pray, God, that you would speak to a nation that's in an upheaval right now. In Baldwin County, Chad Petrie, News 5. Since the Dallas police tragedy, people right here on the Gulf are showing support to the families of those who were killed and injured. Concerns of Police Survivors Organization, or COPS, will be hosting a vigil on Tuesday at the amphitheater at Cooper Riverside Park between the Mobile Convention Center and Gulf Quest Maritime Museum. They're asking that all first responders and the community of the Gulf Coast come show their support. Everyone should bring their own candles for the vigil ceremony beginning at 7.00.